The barbershop focus, the lens ain't no pretend. Chicago, Illinois, for us is where it starts and stops. Same rap time, same rap channel. Yeah, it's the barbershop. Every man praises, every fan gazes. gazes. Barbershop, you rappers need to understand greatness. Holla. So grab your notebook, popcorn, a bitch, and some friends. Shut the fuck up. The barbershop's about to begin. Good day. How you doing? Pugsley Adams here, Barbershop Hip Hop, once again on your channel 19. Tell your friends, let them know. But uh, tonight, we got my girl, my homie, my future wife, Jean Grey on tonight, man. She gonna tell you all about the New York way of life and about, you know, how she feels about, you know, the Chicago hip hop scene. Cause everybody showed a crazy love at the Abbey Pub show. You know, she really held it down, even had people two-stepping. I've not seen that at a hip hop show in a very long time. But also we got one of my homies from Rhyme Say, it's P.O.S. He's like a punk rock, rap, black guy, real crazy. And then we got one of my homies, Nico B, from, you know, Audio 8. You know, wait, hold on. Audio 8, you know, audio, right there, yeah. All right, yeah, extreme close up, yeah. So definitely uh, stay tuned, check out the show. What? I thought I really wasn't going to drop nothing. Come on now. It sucked. I hated them. They beat me with their instruments all day. Um, which is bad, because my father plays the piano, so it was heavy. Um, you know, just, um, I guess, you know, they tried to raise me with an appreciation for all kinds of music. And obviously there was a lot of jazz in the house. And, um, I mean, you know, just getting used to things like touring and press kits and pressing up records and contracts. So, the, like, yeah, this is not really anything new. It's just stuff that I've kind of heard and, you know, either subconsciously from being that young and being like, you you really know what's going on. And, and you know, not having a steady nine to five job is, is something difficult to do with kids. And you're waiting for that next job and you're waiting for the next gig. And I find myself living the same life right now, so. Drop on ya, like O'Donnell's playing in La Bamba, comma, now you're kin dwelling like Richie Valens, mama drama. Picture me smiling, um, man, it's it's, it's it's really strange to say. It's, it's very difficult from this perspective because I don't feel like anything's changed and nothing's changed for us. We're still the same broke motherfuckers <laughs> going to the dollar meal at McDonald's. But I mean, just to see like tonight was was incredible. Like seeing like a full packed audience, like it's 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 been wonderful. And sometimes you know it, it something like tonight can make you look back and be like, okay, there's a reason that I'm doing this. Sometimes the hard times are you know something to get past. So you can get to this point. So sometimes great, sometimes it sucks. She loves me, but she comes and goes when she pleases when the door shuts It's like another paper cut, and I'm stuck with a handful of band-aids Until she comes back around like them ceiling fan blades Claim she loves me, but she cuts me into pieces when I'm sewed up Here comes another paper cut, now I'm stuck with a handful of band-aids Until she comes back around like them ceiling fan blades We met 22 years back, fresh out the womb, now she consumes me No room for self these days, yeah, she's so demanding Do this, do that, don't forget to take your medicine I hate it when her face is invading my head again The welcome mat reads, please take off your shoes But she disregards the statement I've grown accustomed to bending my beliefs To satisfy your needs But I'm fed up with plugging cuts every time they please So I dip my pen in the puddle Where the bloody mess has been Trying to end the struggle But I love her She's the reason for the lesions, man, I love her I start bleeding when she's leaving And every scar on my fingertip is a reminder of All the lessons learned, all my missions trying to find her But I'll sit alone till she comes back home And I'll be waiting by the phone 
Madonna She says she loves me but she comes and goes when she pleases when the door shuts It's like another paper cut and I'm stuck with a handful of band-aids Till she comes back around like them ceiling fan blades Claims she loves me but she cuts me into pieces when I'm sold up Here comes another paper cut and I'm stuck with a handful of band-aids Until she comes back around like them ceiling fan blades She don't live here no more, I heard she's staying down the street with a dead beat that don't treat her right with two bad ass kids Guilt and regret and I'm willing to bet my last dollar that she's wishing she was kissing me Man, the nerve of this bitch, part of my fridge but it's been 10 days And I'm getting kinda lightheaded Maybe I'll write her a letter in a gentleman's way and send it With the hopes that she might get it I can't believe I let her run all over me But all I think about is when she's here and holding me I love her, she's the reason for the leashes, man, I love her I start bleeding when she's leaving And every scar on my fingertip is a reminder of All the lessons learned on my missions trying to find her in I can't complain, I kinda like the pain She ain't even got a name, she just lives in my brain And says she loves me, but she comes and goes when she pleases When the door shuts, it's like another paper cut Now I'm stuck with a handful of band-aids Until she comes back around like the ceiling band plays Claim she loves me, but she cuts me into pieces when I'm sold up Here comes another paper cut, now I'm stuck with a handful of band-aids Till she comes back around like the ceiling fan play Says she loves me but She really thinks that I'm an asshole She says she loves me but My ears are too big She says she loves me but I pick my nose too much She says she loves me but She says I never really listen She says she loves me but Ready to go on, y'all still in dress rehearsal, studying lines with understudies and click buddies. Y'all just bullshit and practicing and need to quit. Yo, don't believe everything you read. <laughs> Although that, that's they're definitely family, and um, we'll always be working together on something. And, yeah. But no. Dunk on you like a ruckus player. Cut a ruckus layer. I got a luxury layer that needs bucks to pay. So when I Light, Antoinette, Sweet Tea. You didn't think I was gonna bring that up, did you? Roxanne Shantae. Ro First of all, yeah. Um, Roxanne Shantae, I, I suppose more than others, just because it was so much of a fuck you, I don't give a fuck, I'll battle anybody, I don't care. And Roxanne and, and I actually um, met a, a couple months ago and we kind of like just sat down. But we were supposed to be like interviewing each other and they just had to like give us the tape recorder and let us talk. And um, she's just an incredible person. And like I, I finally like, you know, found someone who's kind of like a mentor to me in that sense. And um, yeah, yeah. And Roxanne Shante is and will always be the shit. <laughs> After tonight, it's about to happen. Man. Um, that first off, yeah, I don't, I don't think of myself that way, and I'm probably gonna start blushing real hard right now, because it, it's not like that at all. But, um, no, I, I mean, I don't think things are, are changing at all. I think it's up to every individual to kind of be able to, like, you don't have to follow the rules of the business. You don't have to follow the rules of the music industry. It's music. There are no rules. You know, it, it's certain people that set rules up for their standards and because they're afraid to lose their jobs and they're afraid to take risks. But you don't have to play by that. All you gotta do is do you, keep doing it, not quit, and hopefully it'll work out. Either that or you gotta shoot somebody. Yeah, yeah. Shoot somebody. or get shot. Or get shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bizarro was inside of the TV. So yes, what do you? You know what I like it is? When I grew up, I played a lot of basketball for high school, junior high school. So, you know, they trained us a certain way. You know, we watch video With mind control, nigga? No. They, you watch videotapes of the other team. They practice a lot. So now, ESPN is 24 hours. You're not practicing. And they cover every little thing that a team do. When I see that, it reminds me when I was young. On a sinking ship and you had two life preservers. One for yourself, who would you give wow, the other one to? that's a different question. Um, <laughs> shit. What island are we closest to? Closest. Like that even fucking matters. What the fuck am I talking about? The color is life, just I, damn. And why? 
so wide. Just okay. okay. I'm, I'm a huge Nas fan. Huge, huge. Still mad. Um, but uh, I would probably save Jay Z for for the not a, not for the music, for the entertainment. He's incredibly witty and clever, and um, yeah, it just seems like it would be more entertaining. I don't know where this goes. That's, it's not good to have spare parts in your car just lying around, but um, she should have said Pugsley Adams on the Life Preserver question. Really, really, really. But uh, we're about to check out Nico B's new video, produced by Slim the Barber, and then we're gonna talk to the man himself, Nico B. Check it out, y'all.